Okay, Canon build update then. Um, I didn't start filming this when I actually began the Canon, so I'll give you an update of what I'm doing now. I am making a Canon out of wood because I can't afford to buy a real Canon that's been blanked off because they're super expensive. So what I've done is I bought a really long length of 4x4 timber and I cut it down into four pieces. I then glued those pieces together and you can probably see the joins here, here and so on around it. Um, cut the length and then I planed this entire piece until I got it roughly round. I then bought some pine, cut a circle out, cut a hole out in the middle and I've dug down in there deep enough uh, to make it look like it's an actual cannon. And what I've done here is I've got some super glue, mixed it with some uh, black paint and just poured it in the top then just to give it a, a sort of a finished look to make it look like it's been blanked off and eventually I'll paint all of this. I just smoothed off the edges of this piece of pine. Okay, this is the next stage in the cannon build then. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach that to the front. These are the two sides and then because of the shape of that it'll give the cannon a nice angle then. Um, I may use battening internally to um, secure with them and make sure they're uh, stable or it might be that just the weight of the cannon itself um, keeps it solid. Alright, next stage then. Cut the wheels out into circles ready. Um, I'm going to try and find some rubber or something to go around the outside of them to protect them a little bit. Obviously all of this will be painted in the end. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create two runners across the bottom here made out of um, battening. Then I'm going to cut uh, lengths of this uh, piece down. Using this then I'm going to dribble a hole either side on both sides. This is a 32 and it's just wide enough so that this pole then, which I'm going to cut in half, can run through, cut a hole in this, in each one of these wheels and then I'll um, be able to put the axles on and pin the wheels either side with a screw and job done. Quick update regarding the fiddle then. So I drilled down a hole into the cannon and um, then backfilled it with a bit of uh, PVA glue uh, mixed with some black paint. The trouble is after two days it's still uh, not set yet and I got a feeling due to the cold in this time of year um, it's probably going to take weeks to set and I fancy it's, uh, the level of it dropping a bit as the PVA uh, infiltrates into the wood which isn't a bad thing really because this is a four part uh, so the more glue that gets in there the better but in the meantime I've decided to try and speed things up by adding some epoxy resin into that mix. Um, now stop me if I'm wrong, this could be a really stupid idea and I could be about to ruin it but I'm going to have a go, add the resin in, add the hardener, give it a stir and then see if that sets any quicker. So I finished building it um, today. I've built the, the runners on the bottom and mounted the wheels onto the chassis. Um, and now works it my moves back and forth. Um, I've got a piece um, that I need to put in at an angle so that the cannon will actually sit up and it's going to face that way eventually. Um, and I'll be adding sort of um, decoration around the side and uh, perhaps some rope and things like that just to make it a bit, look a bit more realistic. Still haven't decided what to do about the, ta the tail yet, whether to keep it long um, or whether to cut it short and add some kind of like hook or something on it, on it just to add a bit of realism to it. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to paint it with fence life first just to sort of um, get some kind of protection into the wood because it's going to be living outdoors uh, and then I'm going to paint over that with uh, like a grey colour and then the cannon will be painted as well um, black probably um, and I'll use some kind of gloss, uh, shiny gloss paint I think on the cannon just to make it look a bit more metallic.